Wanting to problem solve is why I ended up becoming a scientist. I picked nanoscience because it's a bit like looking for a needle in a haystack. In this file, we have millions of gold nanoparticles. As you can see, the gold is red in color, and this is something to do with the nanoparticle properties that make them very, very different to their bulk counterparts. And these properties are what people want to use in cosmetics or in industry. In the Center for Environmental Nanoscience and Risk, what we're actually looking for is these nanoparticles, how they interact with the environment, how they transform, and then how those transformed particles interact with biological organisms. If we dump a load of other nanoparticles like silver into the environment, and silver particles are found in things like socks and clothes and anything that they want it to be an antibacterial. And silver ions are very toxic to environmental life, so would we then be changing the ecosystem? We had a way of looking at the end results. So basically you take your algae, you take your bacteria, you take whatever environmental system you want, you add to it the, uh, the, the nanoparticles and you look, did they die? They didn't die. So, but there was no information for us to look. Do the particles go inside of the cell as a particles? Do they dissolve outside? They go inside as ions or not? You maybe digested a million cells and you got one answer. If you looked at that answer, you'd say that each cell contains a fraction of a nanoparticle. When in reality, it's a fraction of the population of the cells that are containing nanoparticles. So not all of them have taken them up. So now between bringing single particles and single cell ICPMS, now we have the answer. We solved it, essentially. We can now do it. We can look at intrinsic metals. We can look at um, metal uptake into cells. We're able to actually track the metals, whereas before it was just an overall view of there is metal. So it's expanded the way we've been able to do it, it's accelerated the way we've been able to do it, and it's giving us a lot more insight into exactly what we're looking at. And now people can start developing new drugs or start looking at risk assessment in a much um, better way than they were before. At Brooklyn Elmer, what we do is we, we try to work together uh, with customers to help them uh, innovate, uh, to help them uh, best use our technologies. I'd come up with ideas on how we can improve it or how we can improve the software or what I needed it to be able to do and then they've come back with ideas on how they can make it better. So it's been very exciting. It's um, a new innovative tool and that's important for the environment and for human health and then for governments it's going to help with risk assessment.